Well, hello everybody and happy Valentine's Day. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live on Tuesday, February 14th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh-oh, I think I forgot to turn my volume up. Hold on. Let's see. Can you guys hear me okay? Hopefully. <laughs> I was doing last minute stuff and then I got thrown off because YouTube started doing something really weird today. Um, and I'm crooked again, hold on. So I went to do the live and when I pressed go live, my face popped up, which normally doesn't happen. Normally, if any of you guys have ever done live videos, um, when you press the go live button, it just pops up with like this, um, plain screen and then you type in the description of your video and then you scroll down and then you click next and then it goes to another screen and you can do a screenshot and then it just has a little button to hit live and it doesn't go into color until you actually hit the live button. Well, today when I did it, it when I hit go live, it didn't pop up all that stuff. It just popped up my face and I was like, oh my God, I hit the live button. <laughs> So then I, I closed it real fast because I thought I was live and then I started over again and I'm like, it did it again. And I, th I thought, oh no, what's going on? Because I was like, I don't know what's going on. So I kept going out of it and come back in and finally I saw the little description box, but I guess they changed it. So anyway, that was like freaking me out a little bit. So, <laughs> so we're making this card tonight, which is really a fun technique. I had already planned a different card for today and then I saw I was scrolling through Facebook last night and I was watching those reels you know that you get reeled into and five hours later it's three o'clock in the morning and you're still watching them and I saw this girl make one of these cards and I apologize I don't know what her name was but um I just kept playing it over and over so I could remember how to do it and uh so then I um got up this morning and made it so um hers was totally different though but the this part of it is the same so she used a stamp set I don't think it was I don't think she's a stampin' up demonstrator because it was a totally different stamp I've never seen before but this is using the wisteria wishes set which I have I don't know if I've done a video with this at all yet so I've made a couple cards with it but I don't think I've done a video with it so um this will be a first and let me say hello to everybody oh we've almost got 100 people already hey everybody hey beth hey jody hey sherry hey annette hey tony hey patricia hey diana hey robin hey cindy hey starla hey katie hey annette hey nidra hey faith hey sharon hey terry oh my gosh we got so many people let me see hey spice girl hey karen Hey, everybody else. Hey, Bill. Oh, Bill sent me a Valentine's card. Let me show you guys my happy mail I got. So this card is from Bill, who's watching. Bill Callen, Callenbach. Callenbach. I don't know if it's back or Bach. You got to tell me. Anyway, he sent me this cute Valentine card. And it says, Happy Valentine's Day, thinking of you. And he sent me this really nice letter. So thank you so much, Bill. That was a really nice treat. And I saw, I was supposed to get a couple more cards in the mail today. This came yesterday. And I had a couple more cards out there, but the mail hasn't come yet. But I got that notification that um, there was a couple cards in the mail today. So I was waiting and waiting, but I didn't see the mailman come yet. So hopefully I'll have them on the next video. So how is everybody? I saw some of you guys saying it was snowing and cold. It was really nice today, like 60s and... Um, gorgeous outside so the next couple days are supposed to be 65 to 70 and beautiful so I am loving loving this weather and I I feel bad for you guys that are having the snow and the cold weather we went we had 70s last week and then it went down freezing like over the weekend not it didn't get quite to freezing but like in the 30s and then um it was back up uh, 50s yesterday and 60s today, so. Um, <laughs> we've got Australia in the house. Oh, Bach. Bill says Bach. Callan Bach, like the composer. Yes, it did arrive on time. And you're the only guy that sent me a Valentine card. <laughs> 
I got some from my girlfriend, some Galentine cards, but I didn't get a Valentine card. A no date here tonight. It was 80 degrees in Cape Coral. That's where I want to retire, Annette. Cape Coral, that was one of my favorite places to visit in Florida. Loved that place. It kind of reminded me of the Golden Girls um, houses, and they all lived like on these little canals and had these lanai's in the back. I've always wondered what lanai was. It's like a patio in the backyard. That's where I want to go live. But anyway, so we're using this stamp set and the wisteria, which I love. It's so pretty. And the stamp here. And this to me looks like corn stalks. I don't know why, but you can use these right here and then flip these around and make flowers on top of those. So love that stamp set. I don't know why I haven't used it yet for any videos. And um, don't forget, tomorrow is the last day to get the card kit for this time. So this is the current card kit through tomorrow. And then I'll have a new one on Thursday. So um, you'll get a set of three uh, supplies, set of three card supplies. I can't say my words today. Um, to make these cards. And then um, that's if your order is over $50 and you use the host code. Please make sure you use the host code. And then the gems, if your order is over $100. And also, if your order is over $100, you'll be entered into a drawing to win a $100 gift certificate. Because I'm trying to hit $700,000 this month. So everybody who orders at least $100 gets entered into the drawing. So for every 100 you order, you get another um, entry into it. So I'm about a third of the way there right now. And we've got, let's see... There's only 28 days this month, so we're halfway there. So half the month is over. So um, hopefully I'll get a bunch more orders before the end of the month. So um, I would love for you to order. And then you'll also get this kit. And you'll also get um, a couple celebration items. So we've got celebration going on. There's lots and lots of free things. And I don't think anything has sold out yet. I don't know. I haven't heard of anything selling out, so... If something has, let me know. But as far as I know, I don't think anything from Celebration has sold out yet. I know the um, Clover Punch sold out, and they're not going to get any more in time for the catalog, current catalog. So they said it's going to be retired. Um, and just a note, the um, retiring list will be coming out in about a month. And all of the current in colors for 2021 to 23. Well, I usually say they will retire. We don't know now because I think they're doing the color refresh. So maybe one or two of them will stay. I don't know. But make sure you get your ink pads and refills and paper and stuff before that retires. Um, oh, Ruby says she thinks I used this set a while back. Maybe I did. I just, I couldn't remember off the top of my head if I had ever done a video with this. Um... Lucy says, got my second box of celebration goodies yesterday. Practically left out of my chair when I saw the UPS guy. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, nine months ago. Oh, Terry says, I used this stamp nine months ago. And that was why she bought it. <laughs> that is funny. Well, I'm glad you bought it. I'm sorry I haven't used it anymore. It's like every time something new comes out, I got to use that. So I forget about the old stuff sometimes, but... Um, when I saw this card last night, while well, this, uh, way it was cut and everything, I started thinking what would be a good stamp set to use for this. And the Wisteria set just popped into my head and I was like, oh, that'd be a good one to do with it. The girl who did it on the video that I watched, she had just flowers going up and kind of had tucked them in and out of the, the little trellis, um, boards. So, oh, you know, it would have been cute is to make this out of like wood grain paper. Oh, maybe I will do that next time. That would be a fun idea. And just have this as like a front piece and then have another back piece to it. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'm gonna try that. Cause there is a pack of paper that we have right now, designer paper that has a piece of the wood grain paper in it. So, oh, I just thought of that, okay. That'd be a good idea. All right, so let me show you what we are using. Not much. This doesn't take much. So you need a piece of scrap paper, just white scrap paper, because we're going to be stamping these and cutting them out. So you need some scrap paper for that. So I didn't really write down measurements because it's just some scrap paper. 
And then you need a piece of white, four and a quarter by four. I scored it at five and a half, and we're gonna be cutting some of the, this off. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, because you need seven strips. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven strips. And this is for the front, three and a quarter by one and a quarter evening evergreen, and three by one white. That's for the words right there. So that's all you need, super easy. And then the scrap paper, and we're gonna just cut all that out and get started in just a sec. Take a screenshot. Um, let me see, I missed something. Oh, Deb's having salmon for dinner. That's my favorite thing. Love salmon, love me some salmon. That was a sad joke, I know. Lucy told a joke. Hmm, I missed it. Happy Galentine's Day, yes. It is Galentine's for me, because I don't have a Valentine. Um, love the smell of wisteria. I didn't know it had a smell. We have, a, around the corner from my house, there's like um, the main road that comes into my neighborhood. There's um, wisteria the whole down the whole street, but I've never gotten out and smelled it. It's so pretty though. Yeah, it looks it, it does look like corn stalks on that this one right here. I like this one too. That the words right there. Faith is about trusting. Love it. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Found some tea bones for dinner. Oh, ribeye was fifty nine dollars and thirty four cents. My goodness, it's almost as expensive as a dozen eggs now for meat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got a bunch of jokes. I had a, it's hard to pick tonight because I have, I joined this Facebook group, actually like three or four Facebook groups that are all about jokes. And now I get all these jokes like all day and I keep saving them all. So I have a ton of um, jokes for you guys, but I'm going to, I just picked out one for tonight. Lucy said she had Captain Crunch for dinner. I had pretzels for dinner, so. <laughs> I went to Chipotle for lunch and I was kind of full, so I just wanted a little snack to tide me over till tomorrow. So I had some pretzels and that was exciting, but they were good pretzels because my friend made them and they were called crack pretzels. And you make them like, um, you put some kind of, let me see, Redenbacher, uh, butter flavor popcorn oil and then ranch dressing uh, dry ranch dressing mix and a couple other ingredients I can't remember what and then you just put it like all in a big container like a Tupperware container and put all the pretzels in there and then you just kind of shake it up and you just kind of keep flipping the container or you can do it in a Ziploc bag um, and you just kind of keep coating the pretzels like for 24 hours, shaking them up. And then they come out with this coating that's a little bit buttery and ranchy at the same time. And it's so good. Thank you, Annette. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. <laughs> that is a cute little meme. Eggs and toast. PB&J. Wow. A lot of you guys had exciting dinners like me. So people say, what did you do for Valentine's? Oh, I ate some pretzels. <laughs> and I did a video. <laughs> Just an exciting day, but I'll have to tell you about what happened today earlier. It was really funny. Okay, so let's get started. So I have to tell you about my little errand I ran today and went to Chipotle. All right, so you guys know I do my little cutter upside down. So here's what you're going to do. I got my cutter. I have too much stuff on my desk, so it's not, it's a mess. All right, so you're going to open this back up, and you're going to cut half-inch strips, and you need seven. So you can see right here, here's one inch, so this is half an inch right there. So I'm just going to put it to this mark. You could turn the paper the other way, but I'm going to do one inch, and we're just going to keep pushing them. Oops, I didn't do it all the way. Um... And just keep pushing those over. And then you just need seven total. So that would be three and a half inches we're cutting off. All right, what are we up to? Four. You don't want to cut one wrong or then you screw it up. And I don't have any extra paper with me. 
five. Oops, there we go. Six. Let me make sure that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we need one more. So half an inch. And there we go. All right, so now you're left with half your card and a little bit more. So this is about two inches, I think. Two. Yeah, a little bit more than two. Well, it should be exactly two. I don't know how it's a teeny bit more than two, unless I've measured a little bit wrong. But it's a sliver over. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So you need some kind of post-it tape. This is what I'm using, post-it tape or um, probably washi tape or painter's tape or whatever you want to use will work. You're going to stick it under here like so in the middle and then put it down here and grab another piece and tape that down so it stays in place. And then I'm gonna tape down the top too. So this will stay straight. All right, so hopefully that'll stay down. All right, so then you're just gonna put your strips on here. So we're gonna start at the very bottom and have line it up with the bottom of your paper. And you just line up both edges across um, and then you should be good. And then we're gonna put one up at the top. And you wanna put about, I think that's about an eighth of an inch between each slot. You can adjust it if you want, cause it'll, this doesn't stick like super strong. And then we'll just go back and forth. And until we get them in there. And then you can always adjust if you've got too much space between um, any of them, you can adjust. So like here, we're gonna have a little bit of extra space. So I'm gonna adjust that bottom one a little bit. Move this one up just a little. And that looks pretty even. Let me put my glasses on just to double check. Looks pretty good. If any of them are not even on the sides, you, you can adjust it. All right, so then we need to put our little side pieces on. So you wanna put that like right here and right here on the edges. So what we're gonna do is just grab some liquid glue and we're just gonna put a dot on each one to hold it like that put that down so this is super easy and you just want that to go about a half an inch up there and then whoops hold that for a minute until it dries spice girl says love salmon but hubby doesn't man who doesn't love salmon i love me some salmon this stamp reminds me of lilacs yeah i think if you do it the other way around then it would be like um, lilacs instead of wisteria if you turn it around. Um, oh, somebody says it's blurry. Uh, my picture's not blurry on my camera, I mean my um, computer. So hopefully, it does, yeah, when I go in and out, it does get blurry. Um, I think because the camera's focusing. That's the thing with the new iPhones. They, they constantly are focusing, and I don't know how to turn that off, so... Um, sorry about that. All right, so we're going to put some here on each piece going down. And you just need like a little dab. You don't want to put like a ton. And then we're going to put that one down. And just try to get it even with this one right here. So it's about a half an inch up. And it's going to hang off the bottom, but we're going to trim that in just a second. So there we go. We just gotta let that dry for a minute. Not usually blurry. Went out and came back same. Both. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's really clear for me. I don't know. Um. I have the recipe if anybody wants it for the pretzel. Oh, Starla has the recipe. Did I give you the recipe? I think I gave it, I think I told you guys about it at Christmas because my friend who gave it to me um, 
at Christmas is the one who gave it to me for Valentine's at work yesterday. She gave me a bag. And then one of the girls just started a diet. She's doing keto. So she gave me her bag too. So I got two bags. <laughs> All right. So then you're going to pick this up, flip it over, and then we're going to peel this off. And you can save that for later. You can reuse it. And then um, this will go down here. And we're going to trim these bottom pieces off, even with this. And, oops, maybe I should open it and do that. No, I don't want to. Yeah, okay, we can do that because it's even with the bottom of the card. You can use your paper trimmer too. Okay, and then if you have any over the edge, mine look like they're pretty even, so I think I'm good. All right, so that's our basic trellis here. And then we're going to stamp our words on here, the thanks. I got something on this piece. Um, I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen with the thanks for that one. And stamp that kind of to the left because this is what I did. I I was going to stamp the wisteria, but then it was only going to show like part of it here. So I went ahead and just cut an extra one out and put it there. Um, and I stamped the words over to the left a little bit. Can you guys see the sprinkles on there I did with the Stampin' Blend? It's got purple sprinkles all over. Let me hold it closer. Maybe you can see it. Hopefully. It's got little purple sprinkles. I hope you guys can see it. Okay. Let me scroll down, I think. There we go. That's a pretty snazzy trick to get those boards. I know, I'm just thinking. Now I wish I had used that paper, though, that looks like wood grain, you know, the... It looks like wood, so that would have been even prettier to do on that. So I'm going to try that next time. All right, so we're going to stamp this over to the left. And there you go. And then we'll just save that for a few minutes. All right, so now what we've got to do is stamp our wisteria. And you really need like two and an extra one. I've already done an extra one. Um, so I'm just going to do the two. I've already cut one out. Um, and you need two of the leaves um, also. So that's going to go on our scrap paper. So we're doing the first set of wisteria and Highland Heather. And here's the funny thing. My Highland Heather and my Gorgeous Grape are almost, for some reason, they look exactly the same when you stamp them. I don't know why. I think I can get it this way. All right, so I'm going to do two of these. Maybe I should stamp off so then you can see the other part. Because it's got a part that goes on top of it. And <clears throat> um, and again, you do need one extra, but I've already got that one done. So I'm not going to do that one. All right. And then the gorgeous grape, we're going to do the little top one. So this is like a detailed piece that goes on top. But for some reason, my colors are not that different. So you, it's kind of hard to see it. It's a little bit darker, but not a ton. So I think you can kind of see it, but not like super dark. All right, so there's all of our wisteria done. And then we're gonna do our leaves. We need two of the leaves. I don't know if they're both gonna fit on here. I might need another piece of scrap paper. We'll try and fit them both though. Um, I don't think it's gonna fit though. Let me see. If we do one both directions, if I can squeeze it in the other direction. Yep. Oh, I got it. Okay. So there you go. So if you use, this piece is eight and a half by two and three quarters. So you can fit all of it on there. All right. So now we're going to get the big shot, not the big shot. Sorry. The little stamp and cut and emboss machine. I liked it better when it was called big shot because it was easier to say. All right. And then we're going to move some of this out of the way so let me move this out of the way just for a minute and we're going to cut this out so this is my little mini one this is the one that you get for well kind of for free if you join this month so you can get 175 dollars of product whatever you want plus one of these you can pick white or blue and um it's 129 dollars if you don't want the little machine it's only 99 dollars so a good deal if any of you guys want to
sign up to be a demonstrator. You don't really have to do anything. Um, just put orders in and you get a discount or you don't have to do anything. You can just keep the kit. All right, so I'm gonna put this on here and cut out one of these and one of the leaves at the same time. And I always put um, that post-it tape on here to hold it. Let me put this on here down here because I don't want it to move. And you gotta line up your stems in that little skinny part right there. And it's hard to see. And you wanna make sure it does not move. Okay, so there we go. And then we're gonna put this on here and then run it through. Okay. Oops, not going through. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Okay. I was stuck. All right, now I've already done an extra one, so I'm going to just do one set here. And pop it out. Oops, that didn't go far enough. So we get our leaves and our wisteria. Uh-oh, it didn't pop out that bottom part either. I guess it was too too far away. I should have used a smaller piece. So let me just trim that real quick. So I should have done the two in the middle instead of that one. You had done those two. All right, so there we go. And then I've got another set already done here. So we're done with that. <laughs> I have like on my whole table here, I have this giant desk and I have like just this much room. <laughs> do you guys do that? Like you take up all the room on your whole entire desk doing stuff and then you have no room for anything else. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is stamp the inside of the card. So I'm going to do the wisteria real fast on the inside of the card too. All right, let me put this back. And stamp the inside. And this is the Highland Heather again. So we're just gonna stamp that right on the side right there. All right, so that goes on the inside. Then we just gotta put it together. So that's, that's kind of the hard part, I think, really. You need some dimensionals, and I think I'm gonna use the little dimensionals today. We're gonna glue this together. So did anybody do anything exciting for Valentine's or am I the only one that uh, stayed home by myself? No, <laughs> I did go out and run errands today. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So I went um, and did some errands and then I said, oh, I wanna get Chipotle for lunch, which is you know one of my favorite places to go. So this is gonna go right up at the top here. So let me go ahead and glue that down real quick. So I go into Chipotle and like nobody's there hardly except for this one girl is in line in front of me. So I'm like, oh good, I'll get in and out quick. And the guy who's doing it, it's, you know, it kind of all depends when you go to Chipotle or places like this, like who's doing the making of the stuff, how good of a bowl you get. Cause I always get the chicken burrito bowl. So the guy who was doing it was like really piling stuff in there. And the girl was asking for extra everything. I mean, every single thing. And I think you get every single thing free, extra, except for chicken and then the um, guacamole and the cheese sauce. But you can get like all the vegetables and stuff you want. So she's getting, he put it in there. And he's putting like big scoops and then she's like, can I have a little more extra? Can I have a little more extra? Every single thing, extra. Can I have extra, 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 extra? Then he gets done and I'm not kidding, her thing, you can't tell how high I am, but let's say this is the bottom of the bowl. This is the top of the bowl. So he goes to put the lid on and it's, you know, like this far above the bowl. So he's trying to smash it down so it'll actually reach enough to lip it around because her bowl was so fat. She, she had at least two bowls worth of stuff in there. Then on top of that, so I'm sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. By this time, like I was the only person in line behind her when I walked in. By this time, there's like six more people behind me and we're all just waiting for this girl. And 
you know, there's another guy cooking, another lady at the cash register, and there's like three people at the drive through thing. And I'm just like, you have got to be kidding me. And that's all she ordered was the one bowl, which should have taken about three minutes or less, probably. Um, so <laughs> she gets to the end and she goes, oh, by the way, could I have some extra sour cream, like two containers of extra sour cream and two containers of corn and um, two containers of lettuce and um, uh, two containers of the pico de gallo stuff. And I am like, are you um, kidding me now? So she had already gotten extras of everything. So she had basically two full burrito bowls in one bowl, except for the chicken. That was the only thing. Now she's getting enough additional toppings to make like a third burrito bowl. And so the guy, you know, he's putting every little thing in a container. So she had like six or 10, at least 10 probably, extra containers going in the bag. And I'm just sitting there rolling my eyes like, okay, this girl is beyond ridiculous about how much extra free stuff she's getting for 10 bucks. I'm thinking you should have just got two burrito bowls. But obviously she was getting enough to make two so or three. So she could have extras. But <laughs> So finally, there's this guy, the one who's doing the cooking. He comes over, throws some gloves on. He starts making mine. And I'm like, great. So I'm not even going to get the guy who's making the good bowls. So he just starts throwing it together. And he's talking so fast. I'm like, what? What? And he's like, white or brown for the rice. And then he's like, uh, pinto or black for the beans. <laughs> and he didn't even let me say like, because, you know, a couple things I do like extra. And like the um, peppers and onions, I usually get extra of that. And um, he's just slapping it on and he's not even giving me like half as much as the other girl got for her original amount. And I'm sitting there looking at him. So my bowl finishes and it was like, even with the the lid of the bowl and hers was like you know this much higher than mine was and I said could I get some extra peppers <laughs> and he's just like irritated because I asked for one thing I'm like why didn't you get that girl <laughs> so I was like man so I just paid for my one burrito bowl and I got one burrito bowl but it just makes me mad when people do that because they're really really taking advantage of the system you know all right, so let's go ahead and put this together. Sorry, I'm talking so much. All right, so what I'm going to do is cut this off because I really don't want this long piece right here. So I'm just going to kind of cut that off. And I'm going to put that over here towards the end. And I want the first set to be hanging like here. So that'll be like on that strip right there. So that piece is going to go here. And then I cover this at the end with something else. So... We're gonna do that. So I'm just gonna tape down this top part. And I'm just gonna use tape because I don't wanna make a mess with the glue. So I'm just gonna tape it kind of where I want it here, just to get it in place. And then I'm gonna use glue dots because that's the easiest thing to do. And try instead of trying to get glue under all these pieces and make a mess, I wanna just position the glue dots under here. So I'll put it because you want to make sure it doesn't show and you don't want it to go through and get glue on this part. So you just got to be careful where you're putting them. So we'll put one here, like under that one. All right, so then we want to put these on with dimensionals. So it's kind of a little crooked here. Hmm. Put that just a little crooked, but that's okay. Um, all right, so we're gonna put dimensionals under these. So I'm just gonna put them on the strip here. A couple. And let's see. Oops, that one's a single one. So that'll go there. And then I'm just gonna pop some under here too. So we can put one right here. And one right there and let's see how that works and then we can always stick some more underneath if we need to oops these little ones are hard to get off oops okay so we're gonna stick that right there 
Okay, and then we can stick another one. Wherever you need another one, just stick it. So, you can put one like right there. <laughs> the bigger ones are actually way easier to get off the um, little backing part. Maybe I should try it before I stick it down. I know. There's a few demonstrators that they just pop these things off like nothing. Not the little ones, though. All right, so we're just going to stick them. We'll stick another one under there. Oops. Stop it. Okay. All right, so that set's done. So there we go. All right, then we're going to get the other set of stems, and we're going to pop those. I'm going to cut that off again, too because I don't want that. And then I'm gonna cut off this bottom leaf because I'm gonna put that in on that top part up here to cover that. Because I don't want, I don't really like that stem showing for some reason. So I'm just gonna put that, let's cut that stem off. So you can do whatever you want. I kind of like this, maybe I'll put it that way. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we'll do that with a little bit of glue. And we'll put it this way. I love this glue because you can like, you know, move it around as much as you want. All right, and then let's trim this up a little bit. We don't need these stems right here. And just trim around that. All right, so we're gonna put this like here, like that. All right, we're gonna put that flat. Let me just put a little bit of glue on that. We just gotta make sure we get it on top of those things. Yeah, okay, good. I didn't get any glue on it. All right, and then we're gonna put this one down, but this on my other one, it hung off a little bit, so I had to cut the third one. But this one looks like it's gonna fit fine. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and just put dimensionals on here behind these. I'm gonna use the other ones, even though they're bigger, they're still, <laughs> they're so much easier to peel. <laughs> All right, so this one's gonna go about there. We need some on here. So this is a little bit of a tedious card, but it's really cute. So you just gotta be strategic about where you put all these um, dimensionals. I think we could probably put one, let's see. Oh, that one's gonna have to go lower. That's going to be good. All right, we'll peel those off. And stick that down. All right, and then I can fit another one, oops, under here. Maybe not. Probably need a smaller one, but that's okay. And I don't know if we could fit this. We'll trim this one just a little bit off. Okay, so that was my story of Chipotle. I was so irritated with that girl. They should really have like some kind of rule how many extra things you can get. All right, and then I have one up here at the top, so I'm gonna cut that um, off too. So we're just gonna trim this off just a little bit. Oh, actually, I thought I had one. Oh, yeah, oh, this is already the one I already cut one off of. So just kind of zigzaggy up there. And we'll put that one right there with some dimensionals. And I'm just gonna make it kind of go like that. Okay. So there you go. All right, so then we're gonna put some pearls on. And these are the festive pearls that were in the um, Christmas holiday mini. And they carried over, so you can still get them. And I'm gonna use the green ones, because I love these green ones. They're, um, they match the soft succulent really pretty. 
Uh, so we'll put one right there. Right there, wherever you want, you can put one. Oops, my sticky's not sticking good. <laughs> it's not one to get let go. I need some new sticky. Let's twist it. Okay. All right, one more. One, two, three, four. Oh, we got four. Maybe we need to do five. We'll put two on this one. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's do one here. Okay, so there we go. All right, now we're going to make some splatter with our, uh, what is this? Dark Highland Heather. So just take your Dark Highland Heather, stamp and blend, get something to hit it on, and you're just going to tap it and see it splatter. Oh, it looks so pretty. I just realized I need some more glue right here because that's not holding very good. Let me put another glue dot under there. Oops, here we go. So this is not a quick and easy card at all. <laughs> it takes a little while to get, if you use some different flowers, it'd probably be quicker, but um, put one right there. Okay, just make sure all your stuff is down good. All right, and then I also have some Winka Stella to make the Wisteria extra sparkly. So let's just make that shimmer. So I'm just going to go right down all of these and just make them sparkle. And there you go. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I did spray the original one with shimmer spray, but you really can't see it very well because it's white paper and white paper doesn't show up that much but that is it folks oh i got a joke i gotta tell you my joke hold on let me clean up my mess real fast and then i'm gonna tell you my joke oh read some comments too i know i haven't been reading all right hold on let me go back oh my goodness gracious i missed like 150 comments um, Spice Girl says, I've outgrown my mobile home. I was just talking to one of my downline today, and um, she's in a motor home too in North Carolina. And I was telling her about you, Debbie, and I said that you're on here, and she should talk to you about how to set up her stamping space. Um, let's see. Can you do a test? Stamp off once for Highland Heather for the base, and then do the Oh, yes, I can. I'll do it on my scrap paper. This is the Highland Heather. If I stamp off, so we'll stamp it strength, full strength and off. It's really light. And then do the other one. I'm sure it'll show up a lot more, but that's so light now that it doesn't show up. Oops. So that shows up better. But then there was the other one is so light. So I don't know. Which one do you like better? That is really pretty though with it stamped off like that. I think I probably need to re-ink my um, Gorgeous Grape Pad. I mean, it's not really light, light, but I think if I re-inked it, it would make a difference. So there you go. That's what it looks like stamped off and then doing it. Um, all right, Marilyn says she went out to dinner with her hubby. Let's see, maybe she was trying to feed her family. Oh, maybe she was trying to feed her family. I think she was trying to feed herself. I don't know. She They did not charge her extra for all that, but um, no, I think she was just, she was a young girl. She was only like, I don't know, 25 or 30, but um. I'm pretty sure she was going to eat it by herself or go take it to her boyfriend or something. She didn't have any kids with her. So I don't know. But she didn't look like um, she couldn't afford it. She was dressed nice. So I don't know. Let's see. Where do you pick up the post -a tape? There's a link in the description box below my video. If you go down there and there says Amazon favorites, it's in that Amazon favorites section. Uh, let's see. Ordered that one also. 
plenty of time for it to get good. What did I miss about that? Uh, I don't know. I missed some conversation up here. Is there a football game on? Is that what you guys are talking about? Your guys are playing against their arch enemies. Uh, paper pumpkins are nice. But I have to figure out how to change them up. Hmm. Lisa has a link in the left of the screen for products. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything, the links for everything are in the description box below the video. So if there's a little arrow, I think on the right hand side, you can click it and it'll take you to the description box. And in the description box, there is everything you um, could want from Amazon for that paper, that Stampin' Up! doesn't sell. Want this bundle. Oh, this bundle, the Wisteria bundle is on low inventory. I did not know that. When am I gonna make some cat cards? Jody? I do not like cats and I have no cat sets. <laughs> I'm definitely allergic to cats, so I, I don't ever buy a cat set. My daughter has two cats and she knows I will never visit her because of that. <laughs> I've always been deathly allergic to cats though. They they would kill me. Even with allergy medicine, I can't I can't be around cats at all. So I can never date a guy who has cats, that's for sure. A Spice Girl says, I'm still learning how to be mobile. Now invested in tons of Walmart plastic boxes. I know if I ever get a motor home when I retire, I'm going to have to, um, I don't know, have a trailer on the back to pull all my stamping stuff. Does anyone have the wood grain background for your work area? Are you talking about this thing right here? This one is a mouse pad, but I just bought... You know, I was trying to figure out how people all have that wood background on their workspace. I think, this is what I think. It's a piece of foam board with some wallpaper stuff on it. So I just bought some. I'm going to try and make it. All right, let me read the, the joke to you. Hold on one second, and then we'll be done. All right, you ready? Here is the joke for today. A guy stuck his head into a barber shop and asked how long before I can get a haircut. The barber looked around the shop full of customers and said, probably about two hours. The guy left. A few days later, the guy stuck his head in the door again and asked, how long before I can get a haircut? The barber looked around the shop and said, probably about three hours. The guy left. A week later, the same guy stuck his head in the shop and said, how long before I can get a haircut? The barber looked around the shop and said, about an hour and a half. The guy left. The barber turned to his friend and said, hey, Bob, do me a favor. Follow that guy and see where he goes. He keeps asking how long he has to wait for a haircut, but he never comes back. A little while later, Bob returned to the shop laughing hysterically. The barber asked, so where does he go when he leaves? Bob looked up, wiped the tears from his eyes and said, your house. <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff for me. Um, share all that stuff. Place an order if you want to. I would love it. And you'll get lots of free stuff. So um, don't forget to use the host code though. And I'll have a new card kit and a new code on Thursday for you. So make sure you tune in at 7 o'clock Eastern time for that. And everybody take care. Stay warm if you're cold. And um, hopefully you're not. And you're getting some gorgeous weather like me. And um, I'll be back in a couple days for another video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.